Have you ever tried to do too many things at once and felt overwhelmed? Chess pieces are not great at multitasking. If you expect one piece to do too many things at once, it can become overloaded. In this position, White is worried about the fork on F2 and plays the aggressive queen a4. Moving the queen away from the fork tactic and attacking black's rook on e8. Now that the queen left the back rank, white's knight that was guarding h2 from checkmate now has the extra job of guarding the back rank from checkmate as well. White's knight is overloaded and black can win the game by playing rook e1 check. Sacrificing the rook as the overloaded knight can't both protect the back rank and checkmate on h2 at the same time. After knight takes e1, black wins with queen takes h2. Checkmate. After queen a4, black can also take advantage of the overworked knight by first playing queen takes h2 check. Forcing the knight to capture the queen with knight takes h2. Opening up white's vulnerable back rank. Black forces checkmate after rook e1 check. Knight f1. Rook takes f1. Checkmate. Let's take a look at another example of the overloaded piece. In this position, white's king is in danger. White's rook on g1 is guarding the g2 square from checkmate. As white's rook is the only piece actively guarding the king, Grandmaster Friedrich Olofsson, playing with the black pieces, finds a spectacular combination to overload the white rook, beginning with the queen sacrifice, queen g2 check. In the game, white resigned, because the rook is overloaded. It can't both protect the g2 square and the back rank at the same time. After rook takes g2, knight f3 check, black forces checkmate after king h1, rook d1 check, rook g1, and rook takes g1. Checkmate. Let's take a look at one more example together. In this position, Cuban Grandmaster Jose Raul Capablanca has the white pieces. Black's queen on f8 is guarding the weak back rank as well as the g7 square. Capablanca takes advantage of the overloaded queen by playing the stunning queen sacrifice, queen takes g7 check. White's opponent, Grandmaster Spielman, resigned. The queen sacrifice destroys the king's protection on the long dark square diagonal after queen takes g7, rook e8 check. If black blocks the check with queen g8, the overloaded queen is pinned to the back rank, so white can play bishop e5 check, with checkmate to follow on the next move. After rook e8 check, if black returns the sacrifice queen with queen f8, White finishes the game nicely after rook takes f8 check, forcing king g7. Attacking white's rook on f8. White can finish the game with a nice discovered attack, bishop h6 check. The bishop checks the king, guarding the rook on f8 from the king's capture, and reveals the rook's attack on f2. So after king takes h6, rook takes f2. White is up a rook and should win easily. Are you ready to overload your opponent's defenses? Let's see. 